Hey, hey, it's Griffin Sarah, and we're at the Bay Street Cemetery. In Glens Falls, New York. Is that where we are? That's where we are. <laughs> What I wanted to do was uh, find somebody famous who's buried here in Glens Falls, and there's a few notable people. Uh, I've never heard of them. Uh, figured you might not either, but uh, one name did pop up. <laughs> it caught my attention. I was Bronco Charlie Miller. Well, his wife was actually from here, uh, Carrie E. Potter. Now, Bronco Charlie Miller is best known for being the last of the Pony Express riders. Now, by his own, by his own account. He uh, was born in 1849 or 1850. Now the stone over there says he was, he was dead by 1955, which would make him 105 years old. If he was a Pony Express rider, he had only been 11, but most likely it's a story from the Buffalo Bill Cody show, the Western show, and uh, a big part of it was a Pony Express rider. Bronco Charlie also made assertions that he was a Texas Ranger. Uh, he fought with Teddy Roosevelt. Uh, fought with Jesse James. He claimed he knew everybody from Bat Masterson to General Custard and Davy Crockett. Unfortunately, Davy Crockett was dead about 13 years before he supposedly. When World War I came around, he wanted to join up, but at this time he was supposedly about 67. So it's said that he got on his horse, rode to Canada, and joined up the cavalry. Whether or not any of this was true, you gotta give the guy credit for staying in character for so long. And at least he kept the romance of the old West alive. <laughs> 